Hi, my name is Lucas, and today I'm going to talk about how you can obtain more energy throughout the day. I've been experimenting with different ways to get more energy, and I have a short list of things that I do every day in order to get more energy. And I'll start off with fasting. I eat once a day, and this may sound a little bit extreme, so I'm going to make it a little bit more accessible to all of you out there. If you want to be more focused and have more energy, especially throughout the day, um, before before nighttime falls because at night it's fine to be tired I think that heavy work should be limited to to the daytime but if you want to have more time uh, throughout the day you could limit your carb intake because what carbs are actually gonna do especially sugary carbs is they're gonna give you a blood spike and then a dip will follow which will get your energy down well if you fast or if you do mainly proteins and fats your energy will be more stable and you will have a better chance of having more energy so that's number one i want to talk a bit about sunlight uh, there's multiple levels to this so i'll start off with the most important one get your vitamin d uh, most people need to get more vitamin d in their bodies because they do not get enough sunlight right now it's summer and if you look around in this depressing ass place it is always cloudy here i'm in europe and um this has been the coldest summer in a while. And what that means is that most likely I'm gonna have suboptimal vitamin D levels. So I supplement every day. And you can only imagine what it's gonna be like in the winter time. So that's why a lot of people have a sad seasonal affective disorder. It's because they do not have enough vitamin D. Obviously there's other factors playing a role there, but vitamin D is a very important one. So taking vitamin D is really gonna help you with energy. And the second thing that I wanted to talk about relating to the sun is that every time you wake up you want to view the sunlight with your eyes within 30 minutes of waking up that is going to regulate your circadian rhythm and it's going to tell your body that it's time to wake up and it's going to uh do what i just said what i want to explain a little more simply your circadian rhythm is basically the, the rhythm in which your body is going to be active so if your circadian rhythm is right you're going to be active throughout the day and tired at night so it's going to help you make melatonin at night too so you're gonna sleep well and it's gonna give you more energy throughout the day now in a place where i live there's not always sunlight in the morning this morning was an example of that and that means basically that i'm just gonna have to spend a little bit more time outside because the sun is actually there the clouds are just covering it so i just walk around with my dog for like 15 minutes or something and that's really gonna help me wake up and it's good to mention that staying inside even if you're in front of a, a window is going to be much much less significant it's not going to be enough for you to really regulate your circadian rhythm well so get your sunlight early in the morning as soon as you can wake up get it in your eyes it's very important lastly i noticed that whenever i was working or studying or reading or whatever and i sat on a on a soft chair i would get tired more quickly and I noticed that when I was using more of a hard chair or if I did a standing desk, I would not get tired as quickly. So I do not really have a scientific reason for this, but I know in my experience that it has been very beneficial to do a standing desk and also to do a more of a, a hard chair. So for example, if you look at this, this little bench, you sit on it and it's just completely hard. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you to pet this boy you need some love but yeah for some reason soft chairs just make me tired and um, standing desk and harder seats have been better for me so that's my last recommendation and uh, I hope this video was valuable to you as that is my intention I hope you have a great day and please leave a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe to this channel I truly do appreciate it goodbye